Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a player teleport when a part is touched. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we want to hit the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. So once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you now want to go and insert your part, and this part is going to be the part where if a player touches it, they teleport to another part or a different area in your game. So we're just going to make these pads pretty simple, we're just going to color them i'm going to make this one maybe a light blue oh there's a ghost great maybe like a cyan and then we want to duplicate it and we want to make another pad over here and maybe let's go maybe a more of a darker blue feel free to do whatever you want you don't have to color the pads for this tutorial just so you guys can get the clear idea of it i'll be using these then you just want to duplicate these parts and then we want to go and change the color of these for, for the tutorial i'm going to be changing them uh, but let's actually make this more of a lighter one Maybe something like that and then i'll do this one the darker one so once you've finished adjusting everything you now want to go over and click on the main two parts for this tutorial i'm going to be using the two lighter parts and we're going to be going and renaming them to teleporter well actually you don't have to rename them but for this tutorial i'm just going to be to, uh, calling them spawn teleport teleporter and then on the red one i'm going to be calling this let's say the beach teleporter something like that and now you want to go and rename these parts to a specific name you don't have to copy what i have to name them here you can call them whatever you want but you just got to pay attention when we are adjusting the script because this will require some adjustments in the script so for this tutorial i'll be calling this blue pad um <laughs> really name it whatever you want and this one will be red pad so just to get, make it clear, if someone clicks on this part here, which is now spawn world, they'll be teleported to the beach world, our red part over here. And if they're in the beach world and they click on this pad, they'll be teleported back to the spawn world. So now that you've gone and renamed your two main ones to whatever you want, you don't actually have to rename them. But anyway, you know the point. We want to go up here and click on the plus button and insert your script. You want to do the exact same thing on the other one. And then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that's in the description, and bring it back to Roblox Studio. Make sure to remove all the previous code, and then paste it in there, just like that. You want to paste it into both. So now that you've inserted the code into both scripts, we want to go in and change a couple of things. So we actually want to close these scripts here for now, just so we can get, keep organized and, and know what we're actually doing here. So we're going to be starting on the spawn teleporter, okay? It's the one that will be in your spawn world. Now you want to click on the script, and what this basically doing is doing is if this part detects a humanoid, which is a Roblox character, then the player dot the position of the player will equal whatever the position of this part is. So this part is called red pad. So up here in where it says your part, we're going to be changing this to red pad. Basically now what this happens is if that detects a humanoid, the player dot the position equals game dot workspace dot the position of the red pad. And the position of the red pad is like in the center of that. So if someone clicks on this or steps on this, they'll be teleported there. Now we need to do the exact same, but instead make it go there. So we want to go into the script and we want to change our, uh, this part here, the highlighted part to what was it red, blue was a blue pad yeah i'm pretty sure it was a blue pad something like that so you want to go and change that so now everything should be working we want to go up here and click on the x next to the script and close it so everything saves and just make sure your parts an are anchored or they're going to just kind of move about but now let's go test it out by clicking on the play button up here as you guys can see we're now in the base play and just before i go and show you guys how this works please excuse my avatar it's kind of what my my stream chat came up with and told me I should dress like so anyway um, <laughs> please excuse it but now if we go and click on or sorry if we go and stand on this part we'll be teleported to there because we're going from the spawn world to whatever the world so if we go and step on there as you guys can see we teleport there and now if we are in the uh, beach world or whatever world and we go and step on that teleporter to take us back to the spawn world we'll be teleported back to here so from there to there and then there to there if you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap the video here. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it. If you do, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. 
But also, if you do want to join into our streams, make sure to go check out my channel at the end card here at the end of the video. It will be linked there. Floppy Fish Plays. Make sure to go and check it out. We do a whole bunch of different content. We do live streams. We do videos. And we are slowly but surely growing and hopefully will one day be as big as this channel is now. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.